Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And today we are continuing our look at 1 Peter. We're in chapter 2, verses 4 through 8. And Peter shares some what I think is exciting and interesting analogies today. So listen to this. He says, as you come to Jesus, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. So first of all, Jesus is the living cornerstone. He's the cornerstone of God's temple, of God's house, of God's kingdom. Everything is built on Jesus, which is why any faith-based group, any ideology, any kind of uh, belief system that isn't built on Jesus is, is going to fail because it's all about Jesus. He is King of Kings. He, of Lord, he is Lord of Lords. He's the one who paid for our sins. He's the one who can deliver salvation. God's kingdom is built on Jesus. We want to build everything that we are on Jesus. Second thing that he says is we are all temples of the Holy Spirit. Well, Peter doesn't say that, but he, he pictures us as a house being built as the temple of God. But Paul says that in 1 Corinthians 6. The Holy Spirit lives in you if you're a follower of Jesus. And so you are the temple of God. But Peter says we are living stones being built into the temple of God. That we are joined together by the Holy Spirit into the house of God. Which is really cool. That means that we are united in Christ. So we need to stop dividing over non-essentials. Basically, we need to stop throwing stones at brothers and sisters just because they understand following Jesus a little different than us. And, and they don't, look, we don't have to agree with everybody about everything, but we do need to agree that we love Jesus and that we're on mission for Jesus. So we're united in Christ, and it means that each one of us is important to the kingdom, and we need to connect to the other living stones. In other words, let me just put it this way. Following Jesus is a team sport. Okay, we need each other. We were made to work together, to be connected to each other. That's why it's really important to connect to a local body, uh, whether that's Calvary or someplace else, you know, to join together with other people. So there's accountability, there's encouragement, and we work together for the mission. And then the third thing that he points out is that many people reject Jesus. He calls Jesus a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. In other words, people stumble over grace. It's too easy to gain salvation because it's a gift. And there's a lot of people who think, I got to work for it. I got to do something for it. And then there's people who are offended. You know, they're just offended by the gospel because they want some other way. They want to get to heaven their way, but you can only get to heaven God's way. And so they walk away and we grieve because what they're missing is Jesus. What they need is Jesus. And we know that. And, and so it breaks our heart that, that their frustration and their, their brokenness, their falling over the gospel, it, it means that they're missing out on what Jesus can do in their life. So, um, by the way, that's why our mission is to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. Nothing else is going to really matter. That's what they need because he is the one they need to build their life on. He's the cornerstone of everything. And basically, that's why as a living stone, we want you to join with us in this mission of life change. So I hope that challenges you and blesses you. Have a great day.